Eddie Lamar, born 1914, died 2000. Born as Hedwig Eva Maria Keisler, but better known by her stage name, Hedy Lamar, Hedy was born on the 9th of November 1914 in Vienna, Austria. She was the only child of Emil and Gertrude Keisler. Her father Emil was a successful Jewish banker and her mother Gertrude came from a wealthy upper-class family. In the late 1920s, Hedy met producer Max Reinhardt, who took the teenager to Berlin to train in the theatre. In early 1930, Hedy returned to Vienna, where she made her debut in the film Gold on the Streets. She had minor roles in three other films until in 1933 she appeared in the controversial film Ecstasy. It became notorious as the first non-pornographic film to show a fully nude female, as well as the first on-screen simulated orgasm. On the 10th of August 1933, at 18 years old, Hedy married Frederick Mandel, an Austrian arms dealer and munitions manufacturer. Her husband was typically controlling and would not permit Hedy to continue to pursue her acting career. During their marriage, Hedy spent much of her time at his side, accompanying her husband on business meetings with scientists and other military technology professionals. These meetings fueled what would later emerge as a natural talent in applied science. Friedrich frequently expected his Jewish-born wife to entertain fascist dictators, including Hitler and Mussolini themselves, at lavish parties in their castle home. By 1937, her marriage had become completely intolerable and Hedy fled to Paris. Arriving in Paris in 1937, Hedy soon met Louis B. Mayer, co-founder of MGM. Mayer persuaded Hedy to change her name and she chose Lamar after the popular silent film actress Barbara Lamar. He took her to Hollywood in 1938 where he began to promote her as the world's most beautiful woman and modelled her after Greta Garbo and Marlene Dietrich. Hedy's American debut was in the film Algiers, which caused a national sensation on release. It was said that when she first appeared on screen, her beauty literally took audiences' breath away. Hedy made a further 24 films, often typecast as the archetypal glamorous seductress. She starred alongside some of Hollywood's most popular actors, such as Clark Gable in Boomtown and Lana Turner and Judy Garland in Ziegfeld Girls. Hedy made 18 films between 1940 and 1949 and also had two children in that time. In 1949, she starred as Delilah in Samson and Delilah, the highest grossing film of that year. Hedy made few films after 1950, having become tired of the lack of acting challenges presented to her. Producers tended to typecast her in roles that focused on her beauty, but had few actual lines. With World War II ongoing, Hedy was determined to contribute to the war effort. Using the knowledge gained from her first marriage to a military arms dealer, she teamed with composer George Anthile and invented a jamming-proof radio guidance system. Their invention was patented in August of 1942, but was not used by the military until 1962 at the time of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Elements of their groundbreaking design are still in use in modern communication technology such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Hedy also used her celebrity status and the publicity she attracted to sell war bonds. Hedy was married and divorced six times. She married her first husband in 1933 when she was just 18 years old, and they divorced in 1937. In 1939, Hedy married the American author, producer, and highly decorated naval officer Jean Markey. They adopted a son together, James, but divorced in 1941. In 1943, she married popular British actor John Loder. They had two biological children together, Denise and Anthony, and John adopted Hedy's son James. They divorced after four years of marriage in 1947. In 1951, she married Swiss restaurateur and nightclub owner Ernest Ted Stauffer. They were married for just one year and divorced in 1952. The following year, she married Texan oil tycoon W. Howard Lee, but they divorced in 1960 and he married actress Jean Tierney the same year. In 1963, Hedy married her divorce lawyer. 
They divorced two years later, and perhaps it was the irony that put her off marriage forever. She spent the last 35 years of her life as a single lady. A babe like you with a face like that has got to be awfully careful in a world like this. Careful of what? Oh, things. Things? Well, men. I'm sorry to say, we can't be trusted. Hedy's later years were shadowed by negative publicity. In 1966, she attempted to return to screen in a supporting role in Picture Mummy Dead, but the part went instead to Hungarian actress Zsa Zsa Gabor. Hedy's autobiography, Ecstasy and Me, was also published that year and contained damning revelations. Hedy sued her ghostwriter, Leo Guild, who she claimed had fabricated parts of the book without her consent. Later that year, she was arrested for shoplifting in LA and then again in Florida in 1991. Hedy underwent several plastic surgery procedures in an attempt to preserve her beauty and remain relevant. She had her cheekbones raised, breast implants and lip fillers, all with disastrous results. In 1974, Hedy sued Warner Brothers for $10 million for using a parody of her name, Hedley Lamar, for a character in the popular Mel Brooks comedy Blazing Saddles. The studio settled out of court and Hedy was openly mocked by Brooks in the press. In 1981, her eyesight began to fail and she retreated from public life to Miami Beach. In her last years, she became withdrawn and reclusive. Rarely leaving the house or spending time with anyone in person, she would spend up to six hours a day talking on the phone. Hedy died on the 19th of January 2000 at 85 years old. Goodbye, stranger. <laughs>